That is the villa that we're looking at today. It has off-road parking and a pedestrian gate. So let's take a look inside. So your great big double gates that open inwards and you have a garage here. Nice area here. You have, of course, a table and chairs there to the front of the property. And if you want it, because you've got a pedestrian gate over there, I love the views here, guys. If you want it, you could put double gates there and have a drive-in, drive-out. But you obviously have to have it all levelled. So, great idea there. So this property is up for sale with to let to sell to buy dot com. I just stand back a bit so you can have a good look at it. So let's take a look inside now. So you have a decorative balustrade and you've got a few little steps up into the conservatory here, which is the terrace closed off. In Neptune, you have a nice terrace that is in the shape of a D, but this has been enclosed. So if I'm looking out those windows, I'm looking at those beautiful mountains. Look at that. So I'm just coming down this end. You have got a fitted light above and you have wreckers and blackout blinds on the windows and the wrecker has insect screen on it. So as I go inside, just behind the door here, you have this large overhead storage and double wardrobe to keep your iron and board or your vacuum cleaner or your wellies. Not that you use wellies here in Spain. So just inside you have your living room. You have a radiator here. And you have that lovely log burner over there. So I'm just going to pan around. Come around here for you. You have got another radiator just there. So I've just pan around, you've got your dining area directly in front, but you've also got your air conditioning in here as well. Okay, your air con can be hot and cold, so you've heating there. You've heating with that beautiful log burner fire there, and you've got your central heating radiators as well. So you're spoiled for choice in this property. So I'm going to take you through the archway and we'll have a look at the bedrooms now. So just in here, you have your master bedroom. Again, your air conditioning and your radiator under the window. You've got insect screens on the windows, blinds and wreckers. Just through the archway there, it leads to the ensuite. So I'll bring you down there and we can have a look. So this is a good sized double bedroom. It has switches and sockets on either side of the bed as well. Just through the link corridor here, put the light on there. You have got overhead storage and a double wardrobe. And just here you have a single overhead storage with a single wardrobe so this leads into your ensuite you have a frosted glass window there you've a towel rail over your radiator the bathroom is fully tiled from ceiling to floor you've got a bath a bidet a wc and your sink and pedestal so quite a large ensuite bathroom so I'll just take you out and we'll go around. Now this leads us into the family shower room. So, so in the family shower room, you have got your WC, your sink and your pedestal, got your radiator on the wall and a mirror there, very decorative, and you've got your shower just there. So this is a great family bathroom or if you've got guests, 
they've got a bathroom that they can use. So just in here is another great double bedroom. It has two single beds in here. It's also got wardrobe storage, aircon, records and blackout on blinds on the windows and insect screens. A good size double bed. Good size double bedroom, I should say. You can put a double bed in here. Okay. So I'm going to take you in and around. I'm giving you another glimpse of this lovely living room. And in here, in this Neptuno, you have an internal staircase. So I'm going to take you up and I see you at the top of the stairs. At the top of the stairs there, you have got um, a nice porthole window to shine the light at the top of the stairs. So I'm at the top of the stairs now. And we've come in and this is an extra large room on top. It's called a top box. You have your double bed, plenty of space and another door over there which we'll investigate in a moment. But just here is the ensuite to this room. So in here you have your bidet, your sink and pedestal, your WC and you have your bath. You've also got your shower attachment as well. It's all fully tiled from ceiling to floor. So it's a great ensuite. You've got a frosted glass window there. You've got your shaving socket over there. So I'll take you through to the bedroom now. And as you can see, this is quite a long upstairs top box you've got your little uh, socket and your thing there for a tv if you wanted to put a tv up here just going to have a look in here because this is really unusual in a top box oh i see so what they've actually done here is they it looks to me like they've extended the top box and they've made the storage that's usually underneath into a room inside which is a lot bigger for more storage than that okay there you have your wardrobe which overhead storage and your double wardrobe You've got your insect screens on the window as well as your records and your blackout blinds. So because they've extended that slightly, you've got your water point there. This is smaller but it's still adequate for outside sunbathing. And I'll just give you a glimpse of the countryside here absolutely fabulous this is such a good location and of course the golf course is over there and you're only a few minutes walk probably 10 minute walk from the shopping center where all the cafes and bars are so i'll give you another look here You could put um, some false grass down and you could put your deck chairs in that and just lounge there, you know. So this is a good size top box. So I'll take you downstairs now and we will have a look around the dining area and the kitchen. So see you at the bottom of the stairs, guys. So this brings us back down into the living room and here we have your dining area. Your dining area is large enough for a table with six chairs. Just under the window you've got radiator, you've got blackout blinds and records on the windows as well. 
So if I pan around for you guys, just through here is your kitchen. So you have got plenty of top and base units on either side. You've got a beautiful granite worktop and drainer. You've got your faucet there. You've got your washing machine and your dishwasher. You've got your integrated electric oven and gas hob. And you've got large fridge freezer. This gas hob is lovely. It's quite a large one. And you've got that nice trim to break up the white in the tiles. So this door now leads out onto... So now I've just come out from the kitchen area into this lovely pool area, as you can see. And the views from over here are beautiful. I've got a couple of steps to go down. I'll just show you this area. So that leads out to the front where we were earlier. You have a swing seat there and you have a shower with those beautiful Andalusian tiles around them over there. A fabulous pool. And as you can see, the walls are raised for privacy as well. So I'm going to take you around the garden. That pool looks so inviting. It's getting quite hot here now. And you've got the area there for the pump for the pool. So just over here is storage for your wood for your log burner for winter. And this door leads into the garage. So there's your wood storage. I know there's no wood in it, but that's where it goes. Got a couple of steps down and we'll go inside. So just in here, you've got a lovely terrazzo floor there. That's really nice when that's polished up. You've got a filter, water filter system there. And just here you have got your, I think it's a tumble dryer or dryer. You've got your central heating boiler and an immersion boiler there as well. So this is a nice little utility uh, type of area just off the garage. Okay. So just in here is a large garage with a window with blackout blinds on it. And you have an up and over door there. I just pan around for you. It's just used for storage. You've got a fridge freezer in here. So it's enough for one car, you know. So I'll take you back outside now. And we'll have a walk around the front. So you have little gates here. And then you have that driveway. So just above here you've got a carport. Which shades the car for you. So you can fit two cars in the driveway itself. And you can fit one car into the garage. And probably one car here. So I'm just going to turn around for you just to show you, to give you an idea. So if you've got four cars, you can fit one in the garage, one here, one there, and one at the back under the port. So you could fit four cars in here very comfortably. So guys, in a great location on B. So if you're interested in this property, do contact Dawn. Info at a let to sell to buy. She's the agent and she will help you out. So from me today and all the team at a let to sell to buy. Take care. I'll see you soon.